In this video, I want to take you guys through all of the top trailers that have dropped recently. Let's just get right into it, and I want to kick things off with a pair of Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart trailers that have dropped this past week. We have the Planets and Exploration trailer, as well as the Weapons and Traversal trailer. We are, of course, getting closer and closer to the release of arguably the most anticipated PlayStation 5 game thus far. It seems like this is a game that's going to be a true... I guess you could say system seller for the console if systems were available regularly. I mean, if this was a regular world, I do really believe Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart would have sold the console to a lot of people. The game is looking tremendous. It is utilizing a lot of the elements of the PlayStation 5 to really enhance the overall experience. I mean, we could tout the SSD all day long, but why are we going to do that once again? The weapons in this game look zany as always. I mean, Ratchet and Clank has a history of off-the-wall weapons when you got disco balls making your enemies dance. You know, the limit for Ratchet and Clank weapons... The sky is really the limit. There is no limit as far as that's concerned. The weapons look great. The story looks very good. And obviously, from a visual standpoint, from what we've seen out of the previews, the game looks tremendous on that end as well. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart is due out on June 11. Check out one of the trailers. Apart! An interdimensional thrill ride coming to your PlayStation 5! <laughs> Today's topic, weapons and... Traversal! Witness as this love max teleports from here to there using the rift tether! Or temporarily ceases existing to dodge attacks using the phantom dash! Oh, you prefer offense to defense, huh? Feel the firepower of your loaded arsenal with the dual sense controller! Next up, this is a game that's going a little bit under the radar, especially for the PlayStation audience, and that is Knockout City, a brand new multiplayer dodgeball title that is coming from EA. Now, this game is actually available as a part of Xbox Game Pass on PC and console, so they're getting an easy access point to the game, uh, but the game itself is a very, very unique multiplayer title in that it's a dodgeball game, however, it adds a lot of nuances to dodgeball, like you yourself can become the dodgeball and be used as a weapon. Yes, it's a little bit over the top, a little bit wacky, but stuff like this I feel like can resonate. It's not getting a ton of buzz right now, but hopefully it does have some lasting power and it gains some steam over time. Thankfully, the game does have cross-platform multiplayer, so I don't think the issue of a lackluster player base is going to be too big of a deal, so that's a good thing. One of the big beneficiaries of um, cross-platform play being pretty much normalized at this stage of the game. Good to see that coming through. Three for limited time. Earning yourselves some serious swagger and big time rewards to set yourselves apart in this metropolis of knockout opolis. And this party won't stop because season one kicks off on May 25th, which means a whole lot more brawling is coming your way with a new map, Jukebox Junction, where you need to watch your step if you want to stay on your feet. Ooh. New league play where you can make a name for yourself in 1v1 or 3v3 ranked matches. New crew contracts, where the more you play together, the more you can unlock. And a new way to play every single... Next up, we have Dauntless Echoes of the Future launch trailer. Dauntless is seeing a new update, and it is live right now. Update 1.6.3. You got a lot of new threats in this. Dauntless has been one of the perennial great free-to-play titles. I know it often sees comparisons to Monster Hunter World, but Monster Hunter World is a pay-to-play title. It's a full-price title and everything like that. Dauntless has carved its own audience, and it's an audience that seems to be really into the game, and the studio has been incredibly committed to the game as well, consistently updating it. I mean, it seems like every other week I'm hearing something new about Dauntless dropping, so it's cool to see that this game has persisted for as long as it has, because a lot of people after Monster Hunter World was announced kind of wrote this game off, and it's unfortunate because Dauntless was a game that was announced prior to Monster Hunter World, so you have to take that into account as well. It offers a different kind of experience as well and it's great to see that it still has a perennial user base and good to see that developers are still kicking out content for the game on top of that.
Next up, here's a game that has really caught my attention, and that is Necromunda Hired Gun. We had the Friends Forever trailer that really showcases a man's best friend and his dog, and his dog is decked out with some weaponry, and the game itself looks to be an over-the-top, fast-paced first-person shooter. A lot of comparisons drawn to a game like Doom Eternal. This was done by the developers of Space Hulk Deathwing, which was a pretty decent little FPS. This one looking to be a little bit more of a coming out party for them now it is also being priced very accordingly it's $40 and you can get it for like $32 on PC at various e-tailers so that's something to consider as well so it's not like this is going to be a significant undertaking for your wallet and this trailer highlights a lot of the chaotic gameplay that you're gonna see out of the game and I think if you're into first person shooters you're gonna get really into this one it is out on June 1st and it will be released on PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4. By the way, the June 1st release is for the digital copy of the game. It will be on retail stores on June 30th. Next up, we have the Rust Console Edition gameplay trailer. This just dropped officially. Rust just came out on consoles, and it's been one of the long-lasting PC titles that has seen an incredible user base. We're talking north of 100,000 people online all the time, and, you know, it sees its peaks and valleys, but consistently, Rust has seen a popularity that a lot of other PC games don't reach, and now it's available on PlayStation 4, so you can get in on the Rust action. Now, I do have to say, if you're planning on picking up Rust, it's a game that you definitely want to play with a couple of friends. The gameplay trailer they uploaded, pretty slick how they did it, showcases a lot of the gameplay elements of Rust. Maybe not all the profanity that, you know, some people have heard on Rust, but it highlights some of the core elements of the game, and Rust is available right now on the PlayStation 4. And lastly, I, they did drop a Biomune Explanation trailer. Now, the Explanation trailer isn't anything regarding the story, really. However, the Explanation trailer familiarizes you with the basics of the game and gives you an idea of the depth of the game, a lot of the weapons, customizability, things of that nature, interview with the developers, and a lot of insight into the game itself. Because Biomune is a game, it looks charming, it looks colorful, maybe you think it looks a little bit simplistic on the surface. However, there's a lot of depth to the game, and that has really been indicated based on the previews that we've been seeing i mean when you're going as far as little nuances as far as how you create your character making an impact in gameplay then you've got the variety of different weapons and then obviously decision making is going to be a big element of the game biomune has a lot of different pathways in how you can tackle the game and that makes me incredibly excited for it maybe i'm excited for the game more than most but it's one that i've been following for quite a while so i'm getting pretty amped up for its may 25th release or a tribe would mean the opposite they believe that the only way that you can move forward is to make sure there's kind of a cleansing, I guess. So uh, making sure that everything that's bad in the world uh, kind of goes under so you have a rebirth and start anew, if that makes sense. So you're very free to make this choice, but also bear in mind that that will affect the ending of the game. <laughs> Obviously game being called Biomutant has to have some form of mutations uh, slash abilities, right? There's quite a wide range of them. Primarily we have the Biomutations, so those are kind of more physical abilities, if you will. So for example, you can spawn a, a mushroom in front of you. Uh, that has... And that's gonna wrap up this one again. A lot of cool trailers dropped this week. I think Ratchet is gonna be the highlight for many people, but Biomune looks cool. Dauntless still kicking in. Knockout City, Necromunda Hired Gun definitely on my radar. That's gonna wrap up this one. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.